assalamu alaikum student i will guide you about worksheet of class 5 it is worksheet number 1 that is about collective noun collective noun is a name given to a collection of thing or person taken as a whole as one group so uh, question number 1 is match suitable collective noun with relevant depiction or picture so you will have to match this collective noun to the relevant picture like a library of books for books for collection of books we will use, we will match this to this one okay in the same way you have to match this collective noun to the relevant picture so the second question is select a collective noun from the list below to correctly describe these groups of animal okay you have there are collective noun you have to uh, write this collective noun in the blank like for sheep we will use Heard, heard. Uh, here you will use. Now come to worksheet number two. That is about noun and adjective. Noun is name of person, place, or thing. An adjective uh, actually is a word that describe a noun that give further meaning to this one. Okay, there is some uh, adjective. Write a noun for each adjective. Like juicy is the adjective. Okay, when uh, you will make uh, the uh, noun then you will use juice here okay so in the same way you will use uh, you will uh, solve these questions okay question number question number two is circle the noun and draw a box around the adjective in the following statement in the following statement what you should do you will uh, circle the noun that is dress the dress is noun and this is a word that give further meaning to that one describe a noun so it will be it will be adjective okay pink is adjective and you will have to draw a box around adjective circle the noun in the same way you will solve the other other question as well okay the, this is a worksheet number three that is about punctuation prefixes and suffixes what is punctuation question mark this one question mark when you ask the question for brief or you will put the comma this one and uh, for when there is a complete sentence you will use this period or full stop and for possession or omission of letter you will use this apostrophe exclamatory mark for feelings you will use this one okay question number one is punctuate the following sentences according to the instruction instruct instruction given above so you have to punctuate this line punctuate okay why w will be capital and at the end you will put question mark because this, this is a question next question is about prefixes what is prefixes is a group of letter placed before a root of word like it is a word happy is a root word we will use un before this word. so prefixes that is used before the word next question is use the bank of suffixes to complete each of the following words so suffixes that is use a group of letter place after the root of word so like you will use favor at the end of this word you will use able this one able you will use here this is worksheet number four that is about verb and adverb action word is called verb and adverb that give further meaning to verb from each sentence pick out verb and adverb and write them in the space given below okay okay in this sentence the daughter walks slowly walk is verb it is action word so and this one to give further meaning to verb it will be adverb slowly you will write here in the same and you will solve these uh, sentences like this okay ne next question number two is take the underlined word as verb and adverb okay there are some words that are underlined you have to tell whether the underlined word is verb or adverb this one is action word so it is you have to tick here verb so in the next one verb and next one it will give further meaning to uh, verb so it will be adverb you would tick here okay. worksheet number five is about kind of noun the okay, question is read the noun in the box read the noun in the box and write them in the correct categories name of any particular thing is called proper noun like california you will write california here name of collection of thing will be you will write here collective noun like uh, army you will write run here and abstract noun 
नेम ऑफ क्वालिटी विल बी एबसेक्ट नाउन लाइक कॉन्फिडेंट कॉन्फिडेंट कलेक्टिंग नाउन यू विल एबसेक्ट नाउन सॉरी तो यू विल राइट कॉन्फिडेंट हेयर एंड कॉमन नाउन नेम ऑफ एनी कॉमन थिंग लाइक पेन यू विल राइट पेन हेयर एंड द सेम यू विल सोल्व द दिस कॉलम एज वेल ओके वर्कशीट नंबर सिक्स दैट इज अबाउट सब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड प्रीडिकेट ओके वट इज सब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्ट इज वो एंड वट ऑफ द सेंटेंस वो एंड वट ऑफ द सेंटेंस सब्जेक्ट एंड एक्शन वर्ड इज कॉल्ड वर्ब ऑब्जेक्ट इज अ थिंग और पर्सन ऑन विच सब्जेक्ट इज परफॉर्मिंग एक्शन एंड वट इज प्रीडिकेट द प्रीडिकेट इज द इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ वर्ब एंड ऑब्जेक्ट वर्ब एंड ऑब्जेक्ट टूगेदर इट मेक प्रीडिकेट ओके क्वेश्चन वन इज दैट अंडरलाइन सब्जेक्ट सर्कल प्रीडिकेट एंड डबल अंडरलाइन ऑब्जेक्ट सो यू विल यू विल अंडरलाइन द दिस वन दैट इज सब्जेक्ट एंड यू हैव टू सर्कल द प्रीडिकेट एंड डबल अंडरलाइन द ऑब्जेक्ट दिस वन and you have to solve all the other sentences like this